Hello, this is Amir from lowcarbmaster.com. Today we got another amazing simple recipe. We're going to have blue cheese bacon chicken rolls. This is a very simple recipe. Let's get First thing you want to do, make sure you got everything set up. All we need, salt, garlic, pepper, basil, blue cheese, bacon. Personally, I like the beef bacon, so you can get any bacon you want and some chicken breasts. You can get them already thinly sliced. Me, I like them very thin so I get the, the thick chicken breast and I like to slice it myself. First thing and first. We'll slice the chicken breast and then we'll make a bowl with all the mixture. Let's get started. Now that you have your chicken cut up, we can move on to the bowl. The filling that we're going to make. Now, if you already got pre-sliced chicken breast, you can skip this part. Um, you can skip the part of slicing the chicken. If not, go ahead and do it before you get to this. What we're going to do here is we're going to put the blue cheese, the salt, pepper, garlic, and uh, basil into the bowl. Mix them up. We're going to make sure we're very, very generous with everything, especially the basil. So let's do that. Let's put some blue cheese in here. There's a lot of basil in it. This way, if you have basil leaves, even better. I don't have basil leaves, so I have to make shift with the dry stuff. That's why I'm putting in a lot. Okay. It should look something like this. Now mix it up really well. And make sure you have enough ingredients. Next, we're going to wrap everything up. Let's get started. Wrapping them is simple. First, what you want to do is over here, put the chicken out flat, piece of chicken, go in and grab a piece of bacon. Now make sure that the bacon slice is as big as your chicken slice, if not trim it, make the bacon slice a little smaller. Okay, this is a perfect fit. About the same size. Now we'll add some of the Fill in. Add that. Add it nice and tight. Perfect. And then Go ahead and wrap it. Be very careful with the right wrap. Pull it tight and make sure it rolls onto it. And there we go. It should look something like this. It'll be a little sloppy or a little messy, but I'm going to put it like that. If it starts to unroll, put a toothpick in the middle just to hold it together. It should be fine. We're going to put in these all in the pan and put them in the oven. So let's finish rolling them up and we'll get it up. As you're wrapping, make sure to preheat the oven to 350. Now, this is what the finished product looks like before it's in the oven. It um, doesn't look too neat. If you want, you can throw some more basil on top of them. Just to sort of bring out the color. And then, we'll throw these in the oven. Leave them in for about maybe between uh, Half hour, 45 minutes, and then just check up on them. Just leave them in there for now, we'll check up on them when we, when we come back. So, I was checking up on them, and it looked like all they needed was a half an hour. Uh, mine were done. You can check up on them, see how they are. I ate one. Camera was off, I was able to sneak one in. So this is the finished product. You can scoop some of the cheese that's been left over in the pan and put it on top of it. As you can see, I have some toothpicks in some of them. They started to unfold, so I have toothpicked them in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Stay tuned for more simple and amazing recipes from WokeCarbMaster.com.